There are a lot of different types of weapons throughout the Halo franchise. There's guns that can one-shot. There are guns that are literally useless. And then some guns have a really great time to kill, while others work kind of as a part of a bigger strategy to get the kill off. But one thing that we've found very interesting, over the course of Halo history, a lot of the same weapons show up game to game. And while for the most part, every Halo game has its own identity as how the multiplayer feels, we did think it would be really interesting to take a look at which weapons have the fastest fire rate across the board for all of Halo and for each individual game. And while we were doing research on this topic, we actually found it really interesting that there's a lot of analyses out there of players who've dug deep into the weapon fire rates and time to kills of various weapons. However, there's also a lot of discrepancies between various sources and players who have done their own calculations. There's also this big discrepancy with differences in what the lore says, how fast some of the weapons are versus what they actually are represented in game. And over the years, a lot of the weapons have also changed. So we decided to go through to try to find what weapon single-handedly is the fastest across all of Halo, and to accurately do this, we decided to try to do our own math. Now obviously, there may be slight discrepancies in how our numbers turn up based on the fact that we manually timed each weapon, as opposed to trying to find the number within the game engine or something like that, because we're not good at modding. But ultimately, we feel pretty confident in our overall process in figuring out these numbers that we wanted to show our finding just so we can kind of compare how some weapons are in some games versus some weapons in other games. So the process to find what our RPM was, which stands for rounds per minute, even though a lot of guns don't actually have rounds, we ended up going in-game and firing an entire magazine or equivalent in the case of plasma weapons, and we timed how long it would take to empty the entire magazine. For instance, the assault rifle in Halo Combat Evolved has 60 total bullets, and from where we started the timer to where the timer stopped when the last bullet was fired, it took approximately four total seconds to empty the magazine. So some quick math that we had to remember from our middle school days, we took the 60 bullets and divided them by four seconds, showing that in just one complete second of full-on shooting, the original assault rifle shoots off 15 bullets. One Mississippi. So at 15 bullets a second, we can multiply that by 60 seconds, which is how many seconds are in a minute, to find that overall the original Halo Combat Evolved Assault Rifle has a total of 900 rounds per minute, which is kind of the base standard we would be using for comparing all of the guns across all of the Halo games. And 900 rounds per minute is actually really fast comparatively to Halo across the board, and the original Assault Rifle stood pretty firm at having one of the highest RPMs. Now, of course, this is also not accounting for things like reload time or Halo 2 button combinations or anything like that. Our numbers are strictly trying to figure out which gun is the the absolute fastest in any amount of time. So for this specific comparison, this RPM number is our hypothetical bottomless clip weapon, where also everything is at as fast and as fully automatic as the game will let you. Now, of course, the CE assault rifle's always been known for being a beast when it came to fire rates, but interestingly enough, some of the other weapons did give some interesting feedback along the way. The rocket launcher, which is a one-hit kill, fastest time to kill weapon in the game, only has 30 RPM because of the long cooldown required between shots. The sniper rifle, while being semi-automatic, still does have a slight pause between shots, bringing its overall RPM to 120. And the flamethrower was just an interesting one to try to calculate just because of the way that the ammo counter works in this. But we calculated 720 RPM for the flamethrower, which is high, but not assault rifle high. Halo 2 was where things got a little bit more interesting because the battle rifle canonically, at least in the lore is concerned, fires up to 900 rounds per minute, which is nowhere remotely close to what the gun actually does in game. We think that somewhere in one of the books, there must be some acknowledgement of the BR maybe having an optional full auto mode that can reach that 900 RPM, much like the original CE assault rifle, but Halo 2's battle rifle is not hitting that, and that was one of the reasons we wanted to do our own numbers for this video. With the three round burst shooting as quickly as we can, it takes 5.3 seconds to clear out all of the bullets inside of the BR, which meant once we 
put those numbers into our calculation, overall the BR only has a RPM of 407 rounds, which still is decently high for a three round burst weapon, but still not even remotely close to the 900 RPM reported in some places online. Instead, what we found, the SMG in Halo 2 was in a way the replacement to the assault rifle, and the SMG interestingly enough has 60 bullets in a magazine, and this time to empty out the mag, it took 4.1 seconds, bringing its overall rate to 878 RPM, which was just 23 ticks slower than the assault rifle in Halo Combat Evolved. Now, if we were accounting for dual wielding weapons, obviously the Halo 2 SMG would blow it out of the water with its high 1600 plus RPM, but for the sake of this video, we're going off of individual weapons. So at this point, the Halo CE AR is still in the lead. For curiosity's sake, we also decided to test out the Halo 2 Needler, which in 3.9 seconds could shoot 30 needles, bringing its RPM to 461, slightly faster than the Halo 2 BR, but nowhere remotely close to the SMG. In Halo 3, things got interesting because we had the reintroduction of the assault rifle. This time around though, the Halo 3 assault rifle only has 32 bullets in a magazine, and it took exactly 3 seconds to empty its magazine, bringing its rate of fire to 640 RPM, which is just slightly over 2 thirds of what it once was in the Combat Evolved glory days. Interestingly enough, the BR in Halo 2 actually had the exact same fire rate that we could find between Halo 3 and Halo 2, bringing its total RPM to once again 407. A lot of people cite Halo 2's BR as being the better version of the BR between Halo 2 and Halo 3, and from what we can see here, the RPM is exactly the same. The difference probably is the fact that in Halo 2, you do button combinations to speed up your reload time, which would let you get the drop quicker in Halo 2, which you could not do in Halo 3, but for all intents and purposes of this investigation, they're actually mostly the same as far as the actual fire rate goes. Also, interestingly enough, when it came to Halo 3, it seemed like the SMG was slowed down just a slight bit, with an overall RPM of 857 instead of the 878 from Halo 2. We also decided to test out a couple of other weapons from Halo 3 sandbox, like the machine gun turret, which has a slow start at the beginning and ended up with a total of 200 bullets shot across 20.6 seconds with an average fire rate of 582. The flamethrower in Halo 3 seemingly is much slower than the Combat Evolved one with an estimated RPM of 245. And then you may remember when ODST was added to MCC PC, they did add in some interesting ODST things like the silenced SMG into multiplayer. And interestingly enough, the Halo Halo 3 ODST SMG, which is silenced, has less bullets in its magazine than the Halo 3 SMG, this time only having 48 bullets instead of 60, and to empty that magazine it takes 3.3 seconds, which makes its overall RPM still slightly faster than the original SMG, though this one has less ammo per magazine. We actually knew that there was a chance that they could do some tweaks with the Halo 3 iteration of the silenced SMG, but as far as the fire rate goes, the original silenced SMG from Halo 3 ODST within its campaign has the exact same rate of fire or RPM as the Halo 3 variant, also at 872. But we did check just to be sure. Moving forward to Halo Reach, interestingly enough, we see the assault rifle return with its 32 bullets, much like Halo 3, though this time around it took 3.1 seconds, bringing the RPM down just a slight bit from 640 found in Halo 3 to 620 in Halo Reach. We did test out a few other guns like the Plasma Repeater that had a 265 RPM. RPM. The turret had a 597 RPM, the focus rifle only had 293, and the DMR is still slower than the BR. We were really impressed though with while the assault rifle seemingly, while as slow as it was, was going to take the throne, the needler came out of nowhere with its 2.3 seconds to shoot 24 needles, beating out the assault rifle just slightly with a 626 RPM. Still slow compared to all the other games, but fast enough to take the crown in reach. So as we reach the end of the Bungie era of Halo, nothing was actually topping the original Halo CE assault rifle that had a straight up 900 RPM. Halo 2 came close with its own SMG with an 878, and Halo 3 comes in just after that with its silenced SMG at 872, and then in Halo Reach the Needler with a 626 RPM taking the crown with its fourth place title so far. Halo 4 is a little bit interesting. We see some new additions and some interesting reworks to a couple of weapons. The assault rifle goes back closer 
to the Halo 3 version with a 32 bullet magazine shooting at 640 RPM. And Halo 4 was the grand return of the battle rifle, though it did not stick to what the battle rifle was set to in Halo 2 and Halo 3, and instead did its own thing where it took 4.6 seconds to shoot 36 bullets, bringing its rate of fire to 469. Meaning that this time around the BR is actually slightly faster than the Halo 2 and Halo 3 variants, though that doesn't necessarily play directly into what the time to kill looked like in Halo 4, which is something we can investigate on another time. But still, it is interesting to note the increase in speed. The Storm Rifle wasn't all that impressive with a 377 RPM, but then we get two new faces in the run for fastest gun across all of Halo, with the Suppressor with an impressive 862, still not enough to beat out the Halo CE Assault Rifle, but the Halo 4 saw comes in able to shoot 72 bullets in just 4.7 seconds, bringing it to the new number one spot at 919 RPM. It was kind of interesting. We knew the assault rifle was really fast, but we didn't think it would take all the way to Halo 4 for a gun to dethrone it for the fastest weapon in the game. Halo 2A is a little bit interesting because it is aiming to feel like the Halo 2 multiplayer experience while also being built directly off of the Halo 4 engine and then also utilizing some weapons that weren't even in Halo 2 originally. For instance, Halo 2 Anniversary has an assault rifle, which wasn't in Halo 2, but it shoots just like the Halo 4 assault rifle with its 32 bullets in three seconds, giving it a 640 RPM, tying it with Halo 3 and Halo 4. The Halo 2 Anniversary BR, though, was reverted back to its original 407 RPM found in Halo 2 and Halo 3 and did not stick with the faster version found in Halo 4. But this is where things get really interesting when we're faced off with the SMG. The Halo 2 Anniversary SMG is incredibly fast, actually faster than its original Original version in Halo 2, where it just takes only 3.9 seconds to clear 60 entire bullets, which gave it an overall fire rate for just one SMG at 923 RPM, just narrowly beating out Halo 4's saw by maybe four points. And we we're pretty analytical of this, making sure our numbers were correct. However, even more interestingly, one more gun in Halo 2A beats out the SMG, which we did not expect at all because it beats it out by an absolute limit. Slide. In Halo 2 Anniversary, the silenced SMG was reintroduced, though this time around the silenced SMG does not have 48 bullets, but it has the same 60 bullets in a magazine that the regular SMG has, though the fire rate is significantly faster. In just about one second less, at just three seconds, it clears its 60 bullet magazine, giving it the highest fire rate of any weapon across all of Halo with 1,200 RPM, significantly besting out anything we had seen so far. And if you were to dual wield the Silence SMG, you'd be looking at 2,400 RPM. Now, of course, they obviously scaled the damage output accordingly so that this wasn't just a complete mow down weapon, but it is interesting to see just the drastic speed that is different here in the silenced SMG in Halo 2A compared to anything we'd ever seen before in Halo, especially in a much often forgotten Halo multiplayer. Now for comparison's sakes, we did go ahead to check Halo 5 Guardians as well, and there were some interesting findings we had in Halo 5. For instance, the BR has a 407 RPM still like it did in Halo 2 and 3 and 2A, not like it did in Halo 4, though we found it interesting that the actual Halo 2 BR, the version that's supposed to look and feel like the Halo 2 BR, has a faster fire rate than that 407 RPM with a 423 RPM instead, which is just interesting because while aesthetically speaking, yeah, it looks more like the Halo 2 BR, the Halo 5 BR shoots more closely to what the original Halo 2 BR did. The new version of the SMG introduced in Halo 5 still shoots pretty fast at 878 RPM, but nothing close to its Halo 2A counterpart. And then we looked at the saw and some of the saw variants as well. The base set saw shoots an 881 RPM, which is still pretty fast, but not 
in the top five even. And we did check weapon variations along the way. For instance, the Appetite for Destruction only shot an 852 RPM, which was slower than the base set saw. Then when it comes to Halo Infinite, there aren't a whole lot of weapons that can take the title of fastest fire rate in Halo. The Assault Rifle seems locked around that 620 speed that it was in Halo 5, which is more or less the same speed as the Assault Rifle was back in Halo Reach. Our PR, once again, feels pretty solid with 36 bullets in 5.1 seconds, with that 407 RPM number that we kept getting across various Halo games, most notably Halo 2 and Halo 3. And just while we're at it testing out other weapons, we did test the Pulse Carbine, which had a 413 RPM. So yeah, this was a really fun project to take a closer look at how fast some of these weapons truly are and how they compare across the board through various Halo games. So overall, across all of the Halo games, our top five weapons are the Halo 5 SMG or silenced SMG. They're pretty close in score, around 900 RPM. Then the Halo Combat Evolved AR that held the throne for a really long time with a solid 900 RPM. The Halo 4 Saw just finally beat out that massively fast assault rifle with a 919 in Halo 4. And then out of nowhere, Halo 2 Anniversary came and introduced two of the fastest weapons of all time to date with the Halo 2A SMG shooting at 923 and the Halo 2A Silence SMG in the number one spot with 1200 RPM, which is still insanely fast and something we still never got to see again. Also, as far as the battle rifle was concerned, just because we were tracking it out of interest, all of the battle rifles shot about 407 RPM, with the exception of the Halo 5 Halo 2 battle rifle, which shot a little bit faster at 423 RPM, and the Halo 4 battle rifle, which was sped up a little bit, giving it a 469 RPM. So a little bit interesting there. They usually stick around that 407, but there were a couple of times where they decided to mix it up a little bit. We thought this was really interesting. We liked to put these graphs together that you can see on your screen that show kind of how these guns compare. Also, just for no reason whatsoever, we decided to put it in a pie chart, which is the worst possible way to read it because it would be as if there was a total number of RPM to grab and this is how it was distributed. But we thought, hey, we can use the pie chart, so let's use it even if it's pointless. But yeah, a bar graph is definitely the better way to go here. We just, you know, we like pie. All right, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you are subscribed for more videos like this. Double check. If you're not subscribed, maybe try it. You can change your mind later down the road if you don't like what we put out. But if you subscribe, then you will at least know what types of weird pointless tests we're doing in Halo nowadays. That's it for today. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video.